Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at an alkenes question, a question about polymers. Topics that are related to this in question include the properties of polymers, repeat units, intermolecular forces, naming and drawing organic molecules, and the types of formulae, including structural, skeletal and displayed, that we can use to represent organic substances. There are four shorter questions, so I'll give you the opportunity to pause and play when you're ready for each subsection. So here's the first part. Pause the video, read the question, have a go, and press play when you're ready for the answer. Welcome back. As always, black text will represent the question, blue will be the model answer, and red uh, I will use for any additional information. Well, to explain melting point, we need to maybe take a look at the types of force that are going to be overcome when the substance melts and what is different about the substances in question. So I've given a representation there of chloroethene and also maybe a polymer on the right hand side as well. So the two molecules of the chloroethene on the left and two uh, sections of the molecules of the polymer on the right hand side. You can see that the chloroethene is a much smaller molecule. These are simple molecular substances. As such, intermolecular forces are broken when they melt. So what is different about the strength of the intermolecular forces? Well, if my dotted lines here represent the intermolecular forces or the opportunities for an intermolecular force, perhaps you can see that the larger the molecule is, the more uh, intermolecular forces there will be or the stronger the intermolecular forces will be. So let's address the question. There are more electrons in each molecule of PVC. There are stronger induced dipole-dipole intermolecular forces between the molecules of PVC. And so more energy is required to break the intermolecular forces in PVC. Here's the next part of this question. Pause the video, read the question, have a go, and press play when you're ready for the answer. So this is a question which requires us to be fluent with skeletal formulae. If in doubt, draw it out. So as you get more confident, you won't have to do this, but to illustrate the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms, etc., uh, drawing it out more fully might be a good starting point. Add up the number of hydrogens and we get to 38. Now I would like to say that I would not normally draw benzene in this way. Putting the circle in does show that the molecule is aromatic, so it is not uh, alternating double and single bonds, and you would never normally put the hydrogens in to show the benzene structure. So here's the next part of the question. Pause the video, read it, have a go, press play when you're ready for the answer. To address this question, we need to know a little bit about the properties of PVC and what a plasticizer does. So PVC uh, is required to be flexible. If you think about uh, what electrical cable is, you know that it needs to bend around corners. And so there's a little clue in the question there. And a plasticizer helps to make uh, polymers such as PVC, helps to make them more flexible. So PVC needs to be flexible. A plasticizer will be present. You needed both of those points to get the, the one mark. Final part of the question now, pause the video, read it, have a go and press play when you're ready. Okay, so a tricky little question this, uh, because it's not actually an addition polymer. Um, so yeah, a tricky question, but we can't spot repeat units, so I'm using dotted lines there to show the sections of the repeat units. Um, from that, we're given in the question a skeletal representation of the polymer, but we're asked for the displayed formula of the repeat unit, so you need to show every type of bond uh, that's there uh, clearly. As 
as always thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on new videos happy to answer any questions you got about this video happy to try to uh, put together future videos on any questions or topics you're finding tricky uh, just email me emails given below or post in the comments